Welcome back to TCA News, everybody. I'm your host, Claire Lohr, and tonight, for our health segment, we will be taking a closer look into teens with cancer and how having cancer affects their lives and the lives of people around them. We go now to an interview taken earlier this year with 16-year-old Hazel Grace Lancaster. Hey, so Hazel, when did you first find out you had cancer? When I was 13, they found a tumor and things kind of went from there. What kind of cancer? Originally I had thyroid cancer, but then it spread to my lungs. And how did this affect your life? Well, it's changed the way I function on a daily basis. I was pulled out of school to make room for chemo treatments, and also things take a lot of management, like the breathing tubes, and I often just don't have the energy to do all the things I used to. Well, this lifestyle must be very stressful. How can you cope with this? I have a really great group of friends that I met through a cancer patient group for youth, and their names are Gus and Isaac, and they're just really great guys who help me get through some of the challenging times. Also, I have a favorite book, An Imperial Affliction, which I really enjoy reading and reread often because it's got a lot of meaning in it, and I'm hoping to go to Amsterdam to visit the author. You mentioned you were pulled out of school. Do you still keep in touch with your school friends? Not as much. I find that it's really difficult for us to find things in common now just because my outlook has changed so much and it can be really awkward hanging out with them. Now that everything is drastically changed, what does a normal day look like for you? Well, I actually do a lot of the things a normal teenager would do. I get up in the morning, I get dressed sometimes, do my makeup occasionally, and really it just depends on the day because some days I don't have the energy to do things and some days I do. But usually I spend a lot of time reading. Oh, I hear you're planning to go to Amsterdam with your friend Augustus. Uh, what was your motivation? Well, we really wanted to go talk to the author of An Imperial Reflection because the ending in that book was disappointing and we wanted to see how the author had envisioned it. It's also about living life to the fullest because it's important to when you don't have a lot of time to enjoy what you do have and kind of go see the world. And how could you compare your life to the way it was before you had cancer to now? Like what changed? Well I'd like to think cancer brought some good things like my friends Augustus and Isaac but it's changed a lot of the way I look at things. Uh, most teenagers don't think about how much time they have left but as a cancer patient, I know that I don't have a long time left to live, and as a result, I've kind of tried to live life to the fullest and do as much as I possibly can, which is one of the reasons I want to go to Amsterdam so much. Well, thank you, Hazel, for letting me come in and interview you. Thank you. I was happy to be here and share my experience. Another cancer patient who is also one of Hazel's friends is young 16-year-old Isaac. One of Hazel's closest friends from her support group is 16-year-old Isaac. He struggles with cancer in his eyes. Um, Isaac, when did you first go to the support group? My girlfriend just dumped me because I'm going blind. She said she can't handle the stress. Um, okay. Uh, when did you first find out you have cancer in your eyes? I'm sorry. I, I can't do this right now. I'm just going to... Stupid chair. That was a chair. Obviously, the stresses of going blind because of cancer and social life can be very overwhelming. We go now to another interview with one of Hazel's friends, 17-year-old Augustus. He struggles with a type of cancer called osteosarcoma. Now, Augustus, I understand you're close friends with Hazel. When did you first meet her? Uh, yes, I am close friends with Hazel. I met her when I went to a cancer support group that was held in the basement of a church. I went to the support group with my friend Isaac. Do you have cancer? Yes, yes I do. What type of cancer? I had, I had cancer in my leg and it came back after I got rid of it. My... This must have been difficult for you. How did it affect your life? Well, the cancer affected my life in a variety of ways. Before I had cancer, I used to be very athletic and into sports. Now I can't do that because I have a prosthetic leg. 
But on the other side, I got cancer perks because people feel sorry for me. Can you explain to me what cancer perks are? Cancer perks are pretty much where, you, uh, where you're just given stuff because people feel sorry for you. For instance, I have gotten like signed baseball cards and stuff along those lines. I also got my driver's license, although I'm a horrible driver, and sort of things like that. I understand that you and Hazel are close friends, and you've even gone through a lot of similar struggles. And you're even going to Amsterdam together. Why is that? Um, uh, me and Hazel are both close friends who have gone, who have similar, lived with similar circumstances. And uh, we decided that, although we have li little time left, we decided we'd go to Amsterdam and meet the author of uh, one of our favorite books, An Imperial Infliction, which is about a girl who has cancer. So, um, yeah, we just decided to do that, and it was, we decided to make a little uh, bucket list of friendship. Uh, well, thank you for your time, and I hope you have the best of luck with your trip to Amsterdam. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. You're welcome. More recently, we interviewed the author of An Imperial Affliction, a fictional novel about a young teen with cancer. And we hear about how the author's experiences with cancer changed his life. So, you were the author of An Imperial Affliction. Yep. I understand that Hazel and Augustus are huge fans of yours, and they came to speak to you about your novel. I don't even know why they came. I didn't invite them. My assistant did. Anyway, I don't like talking about the book. It reminds me of my daughter and her death and what happened. And Besides, I hate Americans. Was your daughter's experience with cancer what inspired you to write an imperial affliction? Well, I wrote the book and... Like my daughter, the girl in the book also had cancer, and I guess in a way, the uh, writing the book helped me deal with the death of my daughter. Well, many people are glad you wrote this book, and it sounds like it helped you through a difficult time in your life. It has also helped many other people, like Hazel and Augustus, through difficult times. Did you plan for this effect? Look. I wrote the novel for myself. I didn't write it for them. I didn't write it for my fans. I can't stand th these people. They, they're obnoxious. You have a very large fan base. Have you written any other novels? I've had no need to. Um, do you plan to write any other novels? Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. This interview is over. Thank you for your time. Mm. Cancer affects many people. In fact, two out of five Canadians will develop cancer in their lifetime, and one in four Canadians who have cancer will die from it. The effects of cancer are very widespread and can affect many lives. In tomorrow's health segment, we will be taking a closer look into how hospitals take care of their teen cancer patients.